Dear students, so from today we will be focusing on Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 version to make attractive web pages without too much effort as we have done in the last module. So today we will give you the introduction to Dreamweaver tool, uh, creating simple page, saving and viewing, and then properties group, how it can be used. So let's start the practical. So here is uh, my um, Adobe Dreamweaver. So this is uh, ha this has a version of CS6. So there are different versions. So if you install this version on your computer, so you would be uh, very easy to follow my instructions. So in this Dreamweaver, we can create many many different things. So we will we are at the moment interested in making HTML hypertext markup language to build the web pages so i selected on it and it has given me different kind of things so for example uh, this is these are you know the toolbars here is the properties windows at the bottom then here are different panes available and then here is a window that is available uh, where we want to design so for example if we are going to split it a little bit to see that what is being uh, developed in the code so you can see that this is the code which has already been written uh, by dreamweaver oh yes and we are not going to write all of this code so we are just going to write over here so for example if, if i clicked on this right side so you can see that it has moved to cursor to the body uh, tag and if I write ITC for example which I have shown you in the last module so it has written it over here and in the properties window if I uh, select the format h1 so you can see that it has added h1 start and add by itself right and if I for example again write ITC it will be shown over here and if I click from here heading 2 so it has added uh, the code by itself so it's very interesting that it's go it's going to add all of the code by itself and then for example as we did in the last module so let's try to complete in the same way so that you can try to feel the difference so this is what I have added so I have not written any of this code I have just started typing over here but you might know uh, this code that's why I have uh, given you an idea in the last module so that you can understand that what does at h1 mean body mean head mean and title and HTML means so when all of these things have been done you just need to save all and give it some location for example i am going to give it a location in my folder over here uh, in dreamweaver so for example i am saying this is first page by dreamweaver dot html it will save by itself and now let's go into that location so it's over here and if I click on this page so you can see that it has put all of the required things as requested in this my uh, first page by Dreamweaver right so this has shown all of the things as we added in the last module using notepad and in this module using dreamweaver so we can move again back to the dreamweaver and we can also select for example paragraph or other headings and then there are different classes which we can use so there are number of other things so for example if i want to make it bold i will select it and click on this so it has added another uh, tag strong start 
and strong end and then it has written ITC. So this ITC is now little bit bold. And here we can change the title. For example, I wanted to change it my. So maybe it's second page. So my second page. And save all. And then I should move and try to see. This is shown my second page ITC, ITC, ITC. So we have just in this module seen that how easy it is to see uh, uh, to write the code in Adobe Dreamweaver and how that code is made available over here and we have seen that this by clicking over this it will only show the code this will split the screen and this will take us to the design mode and this will take it to the live mode this live mode means that your HTML page would look like this when it would be rendered by web browser. So dear students, let's conclude today's module. Uh, today we have seen that how we can generate uh, simple web pages using uh, Adobe Dreamweaver and how we can uh, save it, how we can create and how we can view those pages afterwards. And we have also applied properties tab in Dreamweaver available in Dreamweaver and in the next modules we will come back to you with some other exciting options and features available in Adobe Dreamweaver.